Hello, this is day six. And as I woke up, I started thinking, what can I shoot today? Yeah, that's what my life has come to. I wake up and I think, what can I shoot today? Immense pressure, man, immense pressure. But then today I got lucky because this got delivered within a few minutes of my waking up. And this is an Osmo Pocket selfie stick. I was looking for one of these for a while and I found this on Amazon. The bad thing about this was that it was supposed to be delivered in like three, four weeks. It was very slow, but it actually got delivered in eight days. So not as bad as it said on the site, but because it's not Amazon Prime, so it's not as fast like a couple of days or one day, not one day delivery. So now that we have this, this is like God sent for us. We can just unbox this and <clears throat> do a quick review. The reason I'm interested in a selfie stick and things like that is because I'm a solo filmmaker and the Osmo Pocket gives me the flexibility to do different kinds of shots, more creative shots with the camera by using these simple things like for example having a magnet mount or having it on a GoPro or having it on some very thin small monopod, things like that. Okay, so yeah, that's all the things other than the instructions, so we don't need those, do we? Let's take this out. Let's so take itself. Okay. So in the Amazon listing, they have shown this stick and they have put a marker on here saying 10 centimeters, which is correct, but this is not the smallest that it makes. It's not the smaller size that it shrinks to so that's not correct because they say in the listing in the description itself that it's 10 centimeters to 80 centimeters this is 10 centimeters but what's the point of that because you have to put it in the pocket with all of this and you can't this won't fit in your pocket it'll fit in the backpack but not in the pocket you can put it on your belt with this loop but then if you get stopped by the cops for carrying a weapon, I'm not responsible. Uh, this is just the mount, the normal GoPro mount. The build quality seems quite okay. I think it's aluminium. And uh, there is a small screw thread in there, which is for three by four, I think. So let's do that, let's see. Come on, come on. Uh, it's not. Oh, the loop already fell off. Okay, it's the, it's not this, it's the screw in the GoPro, in the Gorilla Pod. That's misbehaving. So that already fell off, so hmm, not great. So two marks against it and let me just, all right. Okay, it didn't fall off on its own, I broke it. Because this got stuck, the thread got stuck in the thread of the screw. So you can say it was thread walls, okay. So, this is okay, because it can become like a small tripod, not as small as the Gorilla board, uh, and giving you some stability for your Osmo Pocket when you want to shoot with it and because and let's see how far it can go Okay, I like this uh, twist lock thing so that's fast So who is going out of the frame? So can you see that? Can you see how big it is? So yeah, you can put it like that and yeah for considering this like a small Osmo Pocket camera, it should be okay, it should be stable enough. Let me take this off and we carry on working with it as a selfie stick. Put that away. Okay, so. So as a selfie stick, it does seem like one, two, three, that's 27 inches. 
it's about five five six inches here yeah about five inches so yeah not far off from 80 centimeters if not exactly 80 then maybe 78 80 close but this this one this is like 10 inches it's not 10 centimeters it's like 10 inches uh, and this is not pocketable but other than that it's quite light i would be okay with that it seems strong enough to use okay so i'm going to reduce it so that it's easy to fit in the frame and yeah you can twist lock it at any size any length and a little bit more ah. Let's go. Okay, so what is this? Okay, I think this is for that, yeah. So this will go on here. And let's take out each piece and then we'll Lots of noise. This is the extension cable which will go from the Osmo pocket on here to the phone that will be somewhere near here. And this is the actual bracket for the phone. Will it fit my phone? I've got a small transparent kind of thin case on it but I don't want to take the case off. Uh, yeah, it barely fits which makes it good because it's very tight but it also makes it slightly bad because it's very tight. And yeah, okay. So, and this is the bracket that will go around the Osmo Pocket itself. It's just plastic, feels very flimsy, and has no padding inside. So, I probably won't use this. Uh, it's a connector adapter for the cable, extension cable that will go from here to here, and then this adapter is in case you have an older type phone which has micro usb rather than usb type c because this cable is usb type c and osmo pocket you might remember is usb type c so i have two phones here one has micro usb and one has usb c so i'll probably use only the usb c which is my lg v30 plus so let's start assembling things and see how fast we can do this but i am going to okay, let's put this one first <clears throat> uh, can I do this without looking at instructions? Probably. So it goes on here. Yeah, it reminds me of the fastenings on my rollerblades. Yeah, I don't rollerblade. Just bought them to learn. And did I learn? I tried to. Okay. Oh, if I keep twisting it, will it break? Yeah, it might. So I'll just leave it in this angled position and then make do with that. I'm going to get this other adopter like this, which has padding on inside. And I'll get the small pocket as well, which is doing the work of a backup camera. So here we go. This is the one I'm going to use. And my Osmo Pocket, which was working as a backup camera because I tried to record this before and I lost that footage because the DSLR stopped recording for no reason at all. That's why I'm checking this all the time now. Okay, so this is my magnet mount. I love this thing because it's so, uh, versatile. You can put it anywhere so conveniently. I'm going to turn this camera off and then we will put this harness on it. It's one of the cheap ones but it works well. And then I'm going to tighten it after I put this on there. So I'm just going to put the wireless module on here just because I like to have it there but uh, I will check this as well, whether this is long enough and whether it works well enough to connect the phone to the Osmo Pocket. Okay, so here we go. And then, yep. 
Okay, that works. So where do we want to be? We want it to be pointing back so that I won't use the selfie mode. And because it will be connected to the phone, so you don't need to see this screen on the Osmo Pocket itself. There we go. So that's my thing here. And then I need to rotate this. I like this, I like this fastening quite a lot because it seems secure enough, but also very flexible and easy to move, easy to manipulate. Okay, now let's put the phone on there and turn everything on and then see how it looks. Mm. Okay, yep, I need to move the phone a little bit. Yep, because I want the fingerprint. Okay, it's not too bad. Let's turn the camera on from here, so. Yep. All right, yeah, not that. We will have to use this thing, and as soon as I connect this, the wireless module will complain and will stop working, which is fine, because we need only one connection. So, where's this one here? Okay, let's connect this and connect this. Yep, detected the cable, detected the camera. Already display on there. Whoa, whoa. But, and I'm getting the stories button on here, which is a good thing. This is, this is the only thing where the cable is more useful than the wireless module, because with the wireless module connected to the phone, you don't get the stories button in the Osmo Pocket, which is kind of a shame because then you're supposed to have the phone in your hand and just do the stories like this. Weird, it doesn't give you the versatility to capture the surroundings. With this one connected by the cable, you have that versatility to actually uh, capture some of your environment as well where you are. Because that's where you want to do the stories, isn't it? So I'm trying to extend it to this maximum length and I'm sensing some resistance. Yeah, there we go. So, okay, so the cable is long enough, but I'm, I'm feeling a little bit of the um, weight on there now because the Osmo Pocket is so far away and also because of this thing, although it is close to my hand. Uh, I am wondering if I'm supposed to have, yeah, it's, it's the weight of the camera, camera there. Yeah. So if I do, if I say, just follow me, buddy. Uh, and follow me, and if I say follow, yep. So does it follow me? Yes. So you can have, right? Yes. So you can have more variety uh, in your shots uh, because of the length you've got there and with the features that Osmo provides you. Uh, let me just record this so that I can put that in there then you can see how well the camera is following me. So I could be talking to you like that, and at the same time, I can be doing this, and if my hand is steady enough, then it can be a good shot as a second shot, as a separate shot. So let's do it just this much. Oh no, it doesn't work. It doesn't work because it's a little bit heavy on that side. If I do, if I move like that, that's a little bit heavy. So you don't have that stability because my hand itself is shaking so much. Okay, so that I think is quite long enough as a review. I am going to, let's take this thing off and then see if the wireless module is easier to manage because the cable itself would have a little bit of weight also. Yeah, the cable did have some weight. So, yeah, the cable had some weight and also had some drag because it was hanging like that. So, cool, so it's connected there. Camera here, come on, pick up. There we go. 
So let me try that shot again and then see if I can get, let me get myself in the camera first. Yeah, I see myself upside down, but that the camera will fix itself when I click record and also I can fix that in post if I need to. So let's do that. So while the DSLR is doing a static shot, I'm going to try to do a dynamic shot. That's my slider shot. Yeah, I don't think it worked very well because it my hand was still shaking. So let's do a let's do slightly less. Yeah. So that is less, yeah. Shall we try that? Let's try it. So you keep doing the normal shot, Mr. GH5, and I will do a shot like this. My hand is still shaking too much. Okay, I have to keep talking in order to make it look more realistic and I have to look at that camera or, yeah. So let's see, we can stop that. Okay, so I'll check that and then we'll see how well it looked in the post. But in the meantime, I'm going to turn this off. That's a good review. I will try and go out because it seems it's still clear and it's still daylight enough. Uh, I'll try and go out and see if I can do any extra shots with this that I could not do without the selfie stick uh, and definitely can't do with the DSLR because I'm a solo filmmaker. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe if you enjoy my videos. Bye, see you tomorrow.